Hi there, welcome to the House of Loon and for today's topic, we're going into the touchy topic of Santa Claus's pagan origins. Easily triggered Christians, leave the room, we're going into blasphemy in the highest degree. First things first, we're going back to what pagans and Wiccans call, the Green Man. The term, Green Man, is a fairly modern one, going back only as far as 1939, but regardless or the name, Green Man, the May King, Jack in the Green, it all comes back to the same thing. An ancient deity that was a guardian over the forests. In the darker times of the year, when everything seemed to die, food became scarce. So the time in which spring returns, bringing vegetation and animals with it, was considered a time to celebrate, so the green man would be kept in mind over winter as people waited for his return, and the return of food and life. The green man is commonly depicted as a human male whose face is surrounded by a dense covering of leaves and foliage, reminiscent of a certain someone's beard. As he is also considered to be an aspect of the horned god who is reborn at Yule, a tradition adopted by the Christians and renamed Christmas after the birth of their god, there is some connection there to Jesus Christ. Going back to his appearance, he would have a large, bushy beard of leaves, a wreath of foliage and bright red berries on his head, and a flowing green robe. You might recognize this image, as it was adopted by Charles Dickens for the ghost of Christmas present in his book, A Christmas Carol. Being merry, and throwing parties had always been a part of Christmas, as these traditions were adopted from Saturnalia, a Roman pagan tradition that takes place in mid to late December, and the image of the green man would become a generalized figure to represent this spirit of feasting and merriment. Eventually, this jolly, chubby, merrymaking figure would reach England, as well as many other countries, but in England at least, this green man fellow became known as Father Christmas. A festive, feasting, plastered fellow who in fact, did not give gifts. That would come later. Nicholas of Bari was born in 270 AD in a country that is close to modern-day Turkey. That's right, the cola company lied, Santa's brown. So is Jesus, but that's a story for another day. In any case, he was likely a bishop, and stories of his kindness would in turn lead to myths about his generosity. The most famous one is of the man and his three daughters. They were incredibly poor, to the point that the girls had no dowry, so nobody wanted to marry them. Saint Nicholas heard about this, and in the dead of night, climbed onto their roof and dropped a bag of gold coins down their chimney, into the burnt-out fireplace. The coins were of course discovered in the morning, and the family were ecstatic, unable to believe their fortune. Nicholas returned the next two nights, leaving a bag of coins each time, until all three daughters had a bag each to act as their dowry. Nicholas would eventually, in 1446 be canonized, named Saint Nicholas, and became the patron saint of sailors, prostitutes, the poor, and children. The myths of Saint Nicholas would spread across the world, earning him a plethora of names, including Name? Chris Kringle. Name? Santa Claus. Name? Père Noël. Babo Natale. Père Nicole. Papa Gijo. And so on and so the myths about a kind, older man who would give gifts to children was born. Some countries even had a darker alternative to Santa Claus, Krampus, who would bring whipping rods to the parents of naughty children, or straight up kidnap them. Eventually, this myth would combine with the British image of Father Christmas who had in turn come from stories of the Green Man, and would become the modern Santa Claus. The red suit wouldn't come along until the cola company got their claws into the jolly, fat man, but wouldn't you know it, the red suit looked good, and it stuck. So there you have it. From an ancient deity of rebirth and spring, to Merry Christmas. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I know I've been away for a while, I have a good excuse for that. I caught the dreaded virus of 2019. Yeah, you know the one, but I'm starting to get better now, and I wanted to at least get this out before Yule, so, in case I don't see you again before then, have a blessed Yule. Stay safe and blessed be.